Oh, this is pretty nice. Anything tantalous is always great. Mike Babbins runs Evergreen Cannabis in Vancouver. It was one of the first private dispensaries to get a license in the province, but it still took more than two months after legalization. He had run a grey market shop in the years leading up to legalization and closed it to patiently wait for his license. It's a lot better this way. The profit margins are smaller, but we're selling a lot more of it. People are a lot happier with everything. Babbins is definitely a glass half full sort of guy. Yeah, this one, I just, I mean, look at the color of that and look at the size of that bud. But he still complains about things like the BC Liquor Distribution Branch, which wholesales all the cannabis in the province selling weed that's beyond an ideal shelf life. On the whole, it's been very, very positive. Uh, there, you know, there's still bumps, there, there's still steps, there's things that have to be fixed, but we're getting there. There are now 85 licensed private dispensaries in the province, along with seven government-run shops. Some cities, like Surrey, haven't allowed any shops whatsoever. And there isn't a single government-run store, which has lower prices, in all of Metro Vancouver. Certainly uh, there was a, a high expectation, no pun intended, that there would be a, a more smooth rollout uh, of the uh, cannabis legalization process here in British Columbia. The liquor distribution branch won't say how much cannabis has been sold at its stores or through the private shops. But online, as of October 1st, there were nearly 150,000 transactions. That's about one and a half tons of weed. Stats Canada reports that in July, for example, BC Pot Shop sold five and a half million dollars worth of cannabis. That's just a quarter of what was sold in Alberta. Don Briere owned 20 unlicensed shops in BC. He says a lot of people are sticking with the black market because it's way cheaper and the product isn't overpackaged. So everything about the whole rollout was based not very good at all, but in every way. The, 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 the product, the packaging, the pricing, the time it took, uh, to get licensing, everything. Briere was forced to close all his shops down, so despite his reservations about the current system, he's applying for licenses to reopen and take part legally. Rafferty Baker, CBC News, Vancouver.